Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, we are definitely in a new environment. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't been updated on my Instagram, I got married a few weeks ago and I have moved out of where I lived with my family and now I live in an apartment with my husband. So it's going to be a complete change of scenery. I figured today I could just go ahead and do like an update vlog because it's been a while since I've posted. Like I said, I just got married two weeks ago, three weeks ago, <laughs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I just figured I can go ahead and catch you guys up on what's been going on in my life and kind of do a vloggish style video. Um, I know normally I do more sit down videos where I kind of chat with you guys and talk to you guys about specific topics, but I kind of want to start doing more vlogs, especially now that I have more time and more freedom and more space. First thing, before we even chat, I need to make my coffee because me without coffee, I like got ready and everything and I was like, wait, I haven't even had my morning coffee. What am I doing? So <clears throat> yeah, let me go ahead and just make my coffee real quick because the girl can't live without her coffee. But anyways, so I am planning on filming an apartment tour soon. Um, I just have a couple pieces that I'm still missing that I kind of want to get. If I don't, it's not really a big deal. It's not like I'm like, it needs to be perfect because in reality, I'm just kind of doing it more for fun. So I'm actually off for the next few days, um, thankfully, which is really nice. Um, if you guys haven't been on my channel before, and this is kind of the first video you're seeing, I am a labor and delivery nurse. I am um, new to labor and delivery. Um, I have been a labor and delivery nurse now for about two months, maybe a little over two months, and I'm kind of training on that position. So it's been really crazy uh, also to kind of like update on that. Um, it's been really crazy, it's been really fun. I feel like I've learned so much, but I just want to say it's definitely not how I expected it to be. It's definitely a lot more intensive than I thought it would be. I mean, I knew it would be because it's a labor, but it's just a lot more science behind labor than you think there would be and a lot more like interventions and yeah, it's just been really, really crazy. And the situation, I mean, I've seen so many different things. Um, while being on the labor unit and it's crazy. I've seen hemorrhages. I've seen shoulders. I've seen um, Just I mean codes. It's just been insane all the things that I've seen while being on the unit and Honestly, you guys it just makes me really nervous <laughs> to be on my own next month Actually, I do transition to nights and I do transition to be on, on my own <sighs> And I'm very nervous for that um, but anyway, some other like updates on how it's been transitioning to labor and delivery and how like I feel about it. I absolutely love it. It's definitely a unit I can see myself being in maybe forever. It's amazing. It's everything I thought it would be and more. Actually, I think it's better than I thought it would be. Um, I absolutely adore it. So if you guys can hear all that noise, I have baby daddy on in the background, which I should probably turn off. But it's definitely like a lot crazier than I thought it would be. It's been insane. It's been pretty insane and yeah, and just, yeah, I don't know. I just have so much to learn. I literally went back to my mom's house and got my maternal child nursing book because I feel like I have so much studying to do. Um, but yeah, I know you guys are like mostly interested in my labor and delivery job. So I kind of want to like include that within like my everyday stuff. But my plans for today are actually to go to the store. I have so many like little things that I'm still missing in the apartment that I need to get. Um, as you can see, like this is my kitchen. And I have like mostly all the appliances that I need. I feel like kitchen, I'm set to go, but things, little things that I'm still missing are like my nightstands. I'm still missing like decorations on the walls. I just got my couch in last week. And now that I finally have my couch in, I feel like I need to start like envisioning what I want to do with like the walls above the couch. So those are like the little things that I'm still missing, but it's actually been super fun living on my own. Well, I guess not, I'm really on my own, but with my husband, it's been awesome so far. We absolutely love it. Oh, and hello, another big update. I got a puppy, <laughs> her name is Rosie. She's taking one of her many naps right now, which is why I'm not grabbing her right now to show you guys, because all she does is either like play around for, I don't know, like an hour or two, and then she'll nap for like two hours. And like her naps are very serious naps. Like she will knock out, and you can like call her, pet her, touch her, and she will not wake up. Like she is a deep sleeper. So I'll show you guys later on in the video my little puppy. Um, but like I said, I was actually doing my hair in the bathroom, and she came in and 
fell asleep right next to me and that's where she's sitting. <laughs> So yeah, but anyways, yeah, so today I definitely want to get a few more things for the apartment. Um, I kind of want to start including more like everyday stuff on my channel and I kind of want to start including more everyday stuff on my channel just to kind of like incorporate more of my life rather than just nursing. But of course my channel will solely, not solely, but mostly be nursing based because that's really the reason why I started it. But I feel like I kind of want to branch out and be a little bit more open on you know the rest of my life and I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me like hello can we see this kind of content this kind of content and you know it's been something that I've been thinking about for a while and I don't know I kind of go back and forth on whether you know I want to stay strictly nursing on whether people would even be interested in the rest of my life and yeah so I'm gonna try to like slowly <laughs> mesh things together and kind of see if you guys enjoy it but yeah so right now I am making my coffee because <coughs> I need coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to get more milk. Another thing that's been kind of weird is like having to buy all my groceries. I don't know, man, but me and my husband run out of groceries very quickly. Like, I'm already out of milk and I swear I just bought one. Not that long ago. <laughs> yeah, so one of the biggest things is I will be going back to night shift, um, like I said, next month. and. That's gonna be really interesting. Um, some of the things that I'm doing to like prepare for night shift are getting like new blackout windows. Um, just so you guys know, like I said, I am living in an apartment complex and I did decide to get the top floor because I knew I was gonna be going to nights and I didn't know how long I would be going to nights. Like the unit that I'm on, there's a lot of staff, like a lot of nursing staff, like they're very well staffed. I know, what a miracle, it's weird, I know. But anyways, they're very well staffed. So there's like a waiting list to go on days which I didn't have on my last unit. Like I can switch to days whenever I wanted to. I just personally didn't on that unit. Um, so I don't know how long I'm gonna be on night shift. Um, so I decided to get to top floor. Okay guys, I just had to show you. I just walked in here and she woke up. I'm probably just gonna turn the lights on. Good morning, Miss Rosie. Look at this little, this little sleepy girl. Yeah, I literally was doing my hair right here and she came lay down right next to me and remember how i said that when she like naps she refuses to get up and she's like a rock yeah i'm not kidding this is her right now i just woke her up to see if she'd want to come to the living room and this little girl oh look now you're up huh honey hi my sweet girl hi sweet girl hi say hi everybody i'm rosie i'm rosie posy I'm Miss Rosie. So this is my little baby. Like I said, her name is Rosie. She is a rescue. Okay, honey. <laughs> she just loves to lay down on us. Here, let me lay down so that I can show you guys. So this is Rosie. Look at this sweet girl. All she wants to do is sleep or play. <laughs> and she loves to be by us. So she was a rescue dog. Um, I know I'm going to get questions about where I got her and what kind of dog she is and how old she is. So um, she's a rescue dog. So we actually adopted her from this rescue organization. And they said that they weren't sure what kind of dog she was. They just know that mom was like a lab mix. Um, <laughs> and they told us that she's approximately eight weeks old, which was a week ago. So she's most likely about nine weeks. And it was just her and her brother. She does have green eyes. You can't really tell right now. Um, but she does have green eyes and brown and white skin hi pretty and um we named her rosie originally her and her brother were hansel and gretel and we didn't really like gretel <laughs> obviously we had just ad adopted her so we changed her name to rosie and all we know she's a lab mix and she is gorgeous look at these fat paws though look at these fat paws it's crazy how fat her paws are, but she's the sweetest girl ever. She's very hyper. Um, so we've been training her, but yeah, this is my little pup. Okay, so I just wanted to go ahead and answer some questions because I asked you guys what you wanted to see in a vlog and you guys are like, here are some ideas. So yeah, so I wanted to just go ahead and go over some because I know some of them you guys have been asking me on Instagram and since I was so busy the past few weeks, I haven't really been able to go through my DMs. But yeah, internships has been going great. I feel like the beginning of my internship was really hard for me because I went through a C-section hall and vaginal delivery, like the regular floor. I jumped through both of them so frequently that it was kind of hard for me to get used to one or the other. Like, I feel like I need to be in one part for me to like gain habits 
and like be able to truly learn and like remember everything that I'm supposed to do rather than like switching back and forth between C-sections and you know the regular floor but um yeah lately it's been pretty great um I feel like I've gotten a lot more comfortable with C-sections they still make me incredibly nervous um it's just I don't know it just makes me really nervous because people rely on me to do specific things like doctors and you know the anesthesiologist and stuff rely on the nurse to do specific things and to know what they're doing and to be quick with what they're doing what they're doing so it's been great I remember my first day in labor and delivery um I was in the c-sec I, I was in the c-section hall and we had a c-section I remember my first c-section my preceptor was like okay well do you want to do the fully I'm like okay sure and like at that point, there was everybody in the room. Like, we had our baby catcher already in there. Everybody was in the room, and it was just so many people in the OR, and I was so overstimulated that I couldn't start the Foley. Like, I literally tried, and they even, like, helped me with, like, the setup and everything, and, like, I couldn't. I was just so stimulated. I'm like, I'm not used to having so many people around me while I'm working. Like, I'm so used to being in a room with my patient and having more control of, like, the situation. So that's been really, like, the weirdest thing for me to get used to is the lack of control that you have over the scenario you know you're constantly working with the doctors and other nurses and it's been you know anesthesia it's just been really weird to kind of get used to all that so to that but I feel like I'm starting to semi get comfortable another thing that I kind of wanted to like talk about is how weird it is that I never get used to vaginal births like I have done them every single day at work since I've been working here and I still get so incredibly tense and nervous for vaginal births like and it kind of Flip. like I kind of get so overwhelmed that like I know what I have to do but when it happens like when you know in the middle of the delivery I get so like overstimulated and overwhelmed that like it takes me a second to like come back and realize everything that I have to do and sometimes I'll forget a few things so it's been really my biggest um um like one of my hardest things to get used to so what I started doing is actually I got a little notebook from the store like a little spiral notebook it's about this big um I could probably grab it should I grab it? Let me go grab it. I'll be right back. Okay, so ugh, I just ran to go grab this. <laughs> okay, so I got a Spyro notebook just from the regular supermarket, and I actually started making notes on the different things that I have to do for everything, like for injections, for vaginal deliveries, preparing for vaginal deliveries, what to do before, what to do after, charting, C-sections, what to do if you're giving magnesium, what to do if you have a patient that hemorrhages, like different policies for different things and kind of another thing like this is obviously not done um this is something that i just started that i kind of wanted to share with you guys because i know some of you guys have started following me solely because i became a labor and delivery nurse and i kind of want to you know i feel like it's definitely a unit that a lot of people are after and i feel like this is something that could really help other nurses that are starting in labor and delivery okay, so as you can see i this is my spiral and i have like little tabs but like i said i'm still working on it it's still like completely empty like yeah anyways so this is kind of like what I started doing. So like this is for an induction, for preparing for an induction, as you can see, and I have notes on it. So it'll say induction, what do I have to do? I have to release my orders from the doctor. And then I have to get my initial vital signs. I have to sign my consent. I have to start my IV, get my IV fluids going, monitor a baby, and then charting specific things that I have to worry about charting. And then like different things, like I can start Pitocin after 20 minutes of a reactive strip. I can't start Pitocin before 20 minutes. So it's like little things that I know like policies that I have to make sure that I follow and little reminders to make sure that I'm doing what I have to do especially since like I said I do something different every single day so it's so hard to kind of get used to everything like I haven't done an induction in probably a month so if I do an induction this week like I might be like wait what was it again I know what I have to do but I need like a little reminder so that's why I started writing like this these kinds of notes down like the next thing is the vaginal delivery so I put preparing for delivery. I have to make sure I have my table. I have my oxytocin 20. I have my baby meds already pulled. I put under pads under the patient. I take out the Foley. I know the amount, know the time, like different things like that. And this has honestly been amazing for me. Not only just having this like open, like I can take this to every room and it's small enough to kind of stick in my pocket or just like stick in my room and kind of just leave it open. And I can just glance over and be like, oh my God, I completely forgot to do this. Oh my God, I completely forgot to get my, my oxytocin. Let me go grab that. Um, so this has definitely been something that's been helping me as a new labor and delivery nurse is just writing a bunch of notes down. Um, some of the other things that I need to put on here, like I also put, um, if I have to, um, uh, give mag different things that I have to do, nursing interventions and charting and things based off of our policy that I need to chart and I need to like be on top of. So 
This is something that's really been helping me and I really, really liked it. Of course, this doesn't have to be specific labor and delivery. This is something you can do in any four different things that you need to get used to doing. Um, and it's just nice. It's like a little reminder to kind of remember little things that you have to do, but things like that have definitely been helping me in labor and delivery. And yeah, it's been great. Um, the job itself is amazing. It's very rewarding. It's just really hard to get used to. And I feel like one of the biggest like struggles too has been learning like the psycho the physiological like reasoning behind everything. Like your position changes, specific position changes. Okay guys, sorry, my camera ran out of can't <laughs> sorry guys, my camera ran out of battery. But yeah, so different physiological changes, like physiological reasonings behind everything, like you know, you hear that you're supposed to move your patient, turn your patient side to side to progress labor, but there's like a very specific physiologic reason for every single position for different things, like to open the inlet of the pelvis, to open the outlet of the pelvis, to help baby turn, there's different positions. And it's just crazy how much there truly is to labor and delivery. And I really feel like nursing school did not prepare me a single bit for labor and delivery because I felt like since our peds and um, our peds and our um, OB semesters were both like cut in half, I felt like I truly didn't get to grasp how difficult labor and delivery was. I felt like I thought, as bad as it sounds, I felt like I thought it was easier and a little bit more, you know, definitely more simple than it actually is. And it just has made me respect labor and delivery and OB so much more because it is so much more complicated than I thought it would be. And the nurses have been absolutely amazing at helping me transition, but. I definitely just wanted to make that note like I don't want people to think like this is an easier floor because it's really not um, it's definitely very difficult and I feel like compared to my last unit um, my last unit I needed to know a little bit about everything this unit I need to know a lot about everything like a lot about everything related to OB and women's so it's been a really big change that I've had to kind of get used to but yeah so those are kind of like some of the things that I kind of wanted to go over